Hi, I'm Dennis Pilon, Associate Professor of Political Science at York University. Over the past decade, people interested in fixing our democracy have often asked just what would an alternative to our single-member, winner-take-all voting system actually look like? Right now, I want to introduce you to one of those concrete alternatives, the mixed-member proportional voting system. Some highly regarded democracies, Germany, New Zealand, Scotland, and many more, elect their representatives with mixed-member proportional, or MMP for short. MMP is a form of proportional representation, the most common approach to voting in the world. In fact, 85% of OECD countries use some form of proportional representation to elect their governments. So what is MMP? What does it look like? Basically, MMP combines our existing single-member winner-take-all voting system with an element of proportional representation. The end result of using an MMP voting system is that the number of MPs elected to Parliament will match the share of votes cast for the different parties. If voters cast 39% of the votes for one party, that party will gain 39% of the seats. No more, no less. Let's look a little more closely at how an MMP system could be designed to be used in Canada. Here's a proposed electoral map for a Canadian MMP voting system. In this version, Voters would elect 207 local MPs and an additional 131 regional MPs. These regional MPs would be elected from 27 top-up regions. The MMP system would not increase the size of our parliament. It would remain the same size at 338 MPs. Here's how the MMP system would work. The 207 local MPs would be elected just as our MPs are elected now. But at the same time that voters cast a vote for a local representative, they would also cast a vote for regional representation. These regional MPs would be used to top up the results to accurately reflect the popular vote for the different political parties. The top-up regions would have an average of five MPs, depending on the size of your top-up region. In a province with 14 MPs or fewer, the top-up region would be the whole province. This MMP model uses open lists so that all the MPs face the voters. By using an MMP voting system, most voters will be represented by a party they support. And they'll have the option of taking their issues to either their local MP or one of their regional MPs. Using MMP will change the dynamic of political competition, creating incentives for politicians to respond to what voters want. Let's explore the kind of results we might expect to see with an MMP system in Canada. If we look at the region of eastern Ontario, from Ottawa to Kingston and as far west as Belleville, normally we would elect 16 MPs. Under an MMP system, we would also elect 16 MPs, but we would elect 10 local MPs and 6 regional MPs. The local MPs would be divided into five single-member ridings in Ottawa, and the rest of the single-member ridings would be spread across the region. Here's what a ballot would look like under MMP for the riding of Ottawa South, part of our Eastern Ontario region. Your first vote helps to elect a local MP to represent your riding the same way you do today. You could vote for a candidate based on local considerations and or party affiliation. You could even support a local candidate who's not with the party you generally support. Your second vote helps to elect the regional MP candidate you prefer. A vote for a candidate for regional MP counts as a vote for that candidate's party. This vote acts to top up the local results so that every vote counts. It's personal and proportional. This simulation is based on results from the 2011 election. Now keep in mind that when you change the voting system, you also change the incentives that affect the kinds of decisions that voters might make. For instance, we know that when every vote counts, Voters won't have to worry about splitting the vote or casting a strategic vote. Thus, we should expect that support for different parties might change. Let's say Eastern Ontario voters elect from 10 local ridings, six Conservative MPs, three Liberal MPs, and one New Democrat MP. To apply our MMP model, we use the votes cast in the 2011 election to estimate the popular vote support for the different parties. These estimates in a normal MMP election would come from the second votes that voters had marked on their ballots for regional representation. In our MMP model example, in addition to the 10 local members elected, voters would have also elected these six MPs from their top-up region. Two conservative regional MPs, one liberal regional MP, two New Democrat regional MPs, and one green regional MP. 
By using MMP, the results are a closer match to what voters actually said with their votes. MMP also increases the choices that voters can make. Besides choosing a candidate in their local riding, voters with MMP can choose which candidates amongst the regional MPs they prefer. They can go down the regional list until they see their local candidate or support a party's star candidate, or voters may prefer to support youth or female candidates. The Mixed Member Proportional, or MMP, voting system provides both local representation and accurate results in terms of the support that voters have given our different political parties. The result is that all MPs have faced the voters and everyone is guaranteed representation equal to their party's share of the votes. Mixed Member Proportional is one concrete way to create more accurate, democratic results in Canadian elections. Is it the right choice for Canada? Make sure to let Fair Vote Canada know what you think. To find out more about MMP, click the links in this video or explore the Fair Vote Canada website. Thank you.